Hi, this is Dean now with Digital Hotcakes, and I am in Pro Show Producer 5, and I'm going to show you how to create this travel intro. Okay, now what I've used to create this intro is some of the clips from our Home Movie Essentials Volume Number 1, the travel category. Specifically, I'm using the World Flight background, the Travel Album Open with the Travel Album Open mask. You need to use that for your Impro Show producer. And also, I am using the Jet Wipe. Now, the Jet Wipe we're giving to you free with this tutorial um, as a pro show transition which means you can tra you can install it right into your transition panel and it makes things a lot easier you'll see that in a, in a few minutes so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two slides so we can rebuild them and I'm gonna go ahead and take out my sound my soundtrack as well oh and speaking of the soundtrack the little clip we're using here is called let's go and it's a little clip we purchased from smartsound.com Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to drop our world flight background into our slide number one. Now I'm using the ABI. You can use the MOV as well. Both will work in your ProShow Producer program. Okay, I'm going to set my slide time to 21 seconds. Double click to open my slide options. And the first thing we're going to do is add that travel album open. So I'm going to add an image or video. And I'm going to bring in the travel album open. Okay, and of course we need the corresponding mask that goes with this. So I'm going to add a masking layer, add image or video, and I'm going to go to where I saved my travel album open mask. Now you may need to save it in a different place because these two clips do have the same title. So let's bring in that travel album open mask. Okay, and one thing we need to do with both of those clips, which I haven't showed you yet, is when you bring them in here under Layer Settings, down here under Layer Setup, the aspect, you see it's set to Auto. You actually need to change this to 16 by 9. And you need to do that for both the mask and the animation. Okay, next we're going to do a couple things to our World Flight background. So let's go ahead and select that layer. We're actually going to make it shorter. Um, it has a, um, embedded audio, which means it'll start playing as soon as your slide starts. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and go up here under Effects. And we're going to right click on its keyframe number one and we're going to set its time to 12 and a half seconds. And because I know how our jet wipe is going to work, I'm going to right click on our keyframe number two and I'm going to set this time to 22 seconds. Okay, and I'm also going to trim this video a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. If you go back under Layer Settings, right here under Video Clip Settings, here's the little Trim button. And I'm going to cut off the first 11 seconds of this World Flight background. So I'm just going to grab my little flag here and drag it over to 11 seconds. Click OK. All right, now we're, now we're ready to add our caption. So I'm going to click on my add, add a caption. I'm going to type my caption. And of course, you can make your caption look however you want. I'm going to, but I'm going to go ahead and put this in the center of the preview screen. OK, we need to do a couple of things to our caption as well. So I'm going to click on the Effects tab. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to right click on its key from number one, and we're going to set its time to 17 seconds because that's when the title needs to appear. And we're also going to click on its keyframe number two and make sure it's set to 22 seconds. Okay, now we need to set our fly in and our, and our fly out. You do that by clicking right here on the fly in effect. And we're going to use the zoom in from center. Click apply. And we need to make sure that this fly in effect is set for one second. So if you right click on the fly in effect, you'll see the set effect time, and you can set it to one second. 
Okay, now we need to set our fly out. You do the same thing. You click on the little the little transition panel here, and we're going to use a pan up because this title is going to fly out with our jet wipe. So we're using a pan up, and this also needs to be set to one second, which it now is. Okay, and now we are finished with this particular side. We can go ahead and click OK. Now, next thing you need to do is drop your photo into slide number two and set the slide time to three seconds. Now we're ready to add that jet wipe transition, the one that you've newly installed into your ProShow pa transition panel. So go ahead and click on your transition. And now when, after you install that transition, you're going to have a digital hotcakes category over here with your categories. And you can choose the jet wipe. Now you can see I have a lot of digital hotcakes transitions. That's because we have a product that's called 101 transitions that you can install right into your ProShow and you'll have over 100 transitions that you can use the exact same way we're going to use this jet wipe. So let's go ahead and choose the jet wipe. Okay, and now the last thing we need to do is add our little audio clip. Like I said, this is a clip called Let's Go that we got from Smart Sound. I'm just going to drop it into my soundtrack and we are finished. Let's take a look. Thanks for watching.